Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Ilyas, and welcome to your 12th jQuery tutorial. And in this tutorial, uh, we are going to uh, add this feature which I was talking in the previous tutorial. We want to add the name of the of the user before the message with uh, with a colon. So, uh, and in the previous tutorial, we um, added this feature, kind of feature, so that the checkbox is checked every time and we also fixed this issue which we had when we sent the first message we, ha we had a blank line right here so in this tutorial as I said we are going to add the username and um, first let's just uh, set a default username for instance uh, user or uh, whatever or player oh, I don't know and in this tutorial we will uh, figure out uh, kind of a prompt uh, kind of a dialogue and we'll do it in, in JavaScript real quick so that we can ask what the user's name is or we can also just say you or we can figure out uh, what, what we actually uh, how we solve this so and uh, now let's just go ahead and um, make the name appear before the message and so let's see the previous state is something which is before and we have to add the name before the new message right yeah so we can just go ahead and add a new variable called username now I I didn't really uh, do a good job right now just uh, type in a variable's name before defining it so right here we can um, define a new variable and call it username and for now let's just set it to you uh, like this and now the variable is defined and now we should have this username you before every message let's just try hey yeah and it's saying you and hey but we are not really um, satisfied with that so what we want to do we want the word you to be styled to have the word you kind of I don't know like red or something so um, let's just say we create a span and span is it's just a basic HTML text element. It doesn't create any line breaks or something, so we can just easily style a piece of text. And we can actually just go ahead and say class. We can define a class of username. By the way, uh, if you have um, parentheses, and you want to have an, an another parenthesis within parenthesis. I hope you guys understand what I mean. Uh, you can use the other the other type of parenthesis, just this ones. And so let's just create a class of um, username, right? Yeah, username. And now we have to go to our CSS and kind of style the username. So just create a new CSS selector and I hope you remember that you know that the dot stands for uh, the class so we just just type username and the reason why we use classes for this is well we have username we have this span element every time in every message so we can't use ID we can only use classes and let's just style it let's just say font size no we don't want to change the font size we can change the color and set the color to uh, to blue. You can just type blue. Our CSS knows uh, the most common colors, and we can also make it bold, which is font weight. I hope yeah, font weight, and just say bold. Yeah, so we can now just go ahead and test it. Um, test one yeah now you see it makes the username 
blue and bald and the test message the message is just um, normal like normal style so we can say hello is there anybody and there are no answers and why there are no answers because we don't have any chatbot itself which will talk to us and in the next tutorials we'll be programming our chatbot algorithm so I hope you guys um, learned something from this tutorial and well now our chatbot looks more like a, like a chat I mean our chat room looks like a chat room it looks pretty um, pretty real well, if we can use the word real for it. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys had fun, and I'll see you guys in the in the thirteenth tutorial. So have a nice day.